Now I'm going to explain a little bit more about recording. Now the most important thing about the recording is not the people that makes the music. It's the engineer, the man who stands there and works the tape machines and everything. Now you ask any engineer man who works the tape machines and he will tell you he is the most important thing to any recording. The musicians mean nothing, the singers, the dancers, none of them mean nothing. And it's true, because if you don't have a good engineer, you're never going to get to Cleveland. Now I'm going to tell you about tape. Now, I'll tell you about tape. Now you take a piece of tape like this and you put one piece over here on one side of the mouth, one piece on this. What am I doing? That's the wrong kind of tape I got over there. You're on a tape machine, you don't use that kind of a tape, like for bandages or something like that. It's altogether different. Now you put the tape on this side and then you put it through a little thing over here and then you twist it around over there and you put another reel here and then you turn on the machine and here's what you hear on the tape. Yes, if you want that's backwards. Well, I'm gonna fix that. You see, when you hear a tape that's put on backwards like that, <laughs> it sounds, you know, like it's uh, really ridiculous. But that isn't the way it is, because then when you turn it around and you play it forward, we're going to retread it over here. I put it over here, play it forward for you, and now you are going to see what it really sounds like. Now listen to this, this is altogether different. <laughs> Do you ever hear anything like that? What is, what is he saying? I don't even know what, what he's talking about. That's the silliest dialogue I've... I didn't understand him either way. <laughs> well, anyway, let's get back to the tape machines and all of this other kooky stuff like the stereo phenomenon, microphones and all the different things they got now. But one of the most interesting things you're going to find in a recording studio and you go into them and you say you want to see the echo chamber. Now, if the red light is on in the recording studio, don't go in because that means that somebody's recording. And if you open the door, you make any kind of a noise, it's going to disturb it. Because like right at this moment, nobody would think of making any kind of noise because they know that I am recording and I'm a big artist. So they are keeping everything as quiet as they possibly can because they know that I'm recording. And I appreciate that, gentlemen, that you have kept everything nice and quiet for me while I'm recording. Back to the echo chamber. That's where we left it. If you remember, we left you in the echo chamber. Now, what are you doing in the echo chamber? I'll tell you what you are doing. You are getting echoes. And here's the way the echoes go. Hello? Hello? How are you? Fine. That's good. Thanks. How's Sarah and the kids? Fine. Come over to supper sometime. I will. You see, that's the way... Wait a second, what are we doing here? Talking here to an echo, I talking to the echo all by myself? That was, that's not supposed to be like that. An echo is yourself. Do you hear your own voice is coming back at you? Like when you're in the mountains, it's the same thing. So now here you are, and we go into the echo chamber. It's a nice big dark room, and there's nothing to be afraid of here because there's probably only ghosts or something. But a ghost, what am I saying in here in the echo chamber? Let me out of it. Open up the echo chamber here. What are you doing with it? Oh, whew. boy, I thought we never gonna get out of that place. That's the last time that I let you talk me into going into an echo chamber. <laughs>